Bonjour, welcome to a video, first time in a week, or could even be a bit longer than a week, but this will be a short, very, 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 very short video, just basis upon Barcelona Futsal, beginning first game of the LNFS season for 2019-20. Up against, I think they're a newly promoted team, or they could just be a team in the league, I'm not too sure. Uh, Jimbe Kaltigan. And I thought this would be very, very easy for Barcelona. It started that way, it started really easy for them. But it didn't go the whole way. Although Barcelona did win, I do want to say. But um, by half time, the game was over. But then I thought they'd go on and absolutely destroy them. But not really. Jimbe did uh, come back into it. They had their own opportunities. They scored a couple goals. And they almost caused an upset. They came very, very close to causing an upset. So, let's get into how, why, and into the goals. A lot of familiar names scored again for Barcelona. And first minute for Rayo scoring. What else would you even expect? Other than him to score, they're uh, scoring after th about 55 seconds or something like that. Putting Barcelona 1 0 up, a very, very good start for them in the beginning match of the season. And it just got better and better. Two rows came on the 6th and the 7th minute, around about like 10 seconds of a gap from one another. Adolfo was scoring both, getting a very quick brace to make it 3 goals to nil after the 7 minutes. Pretty much sealing the game, you would think. That was pretty much it. There was a very, very difficult chance for Jumbi, Jumbi, and when I pronounce him to get back into this match. And yeah, Barcelona just had too much. They have more experience in the Champions League, the Cups, winning this competition. So obviously, you'd expect Barcelona to do well, to do better. They have more players, more recognizable names. But it was. 5-1 into half time, the 16th minute, Jim B got a penalty converted by Lucian, Lucalian, I think it's pronounced, but I'm not really too sure, but Lucian scoring that goal on the 16th minute to bring the first half to a close. And five goals to one was the score at half time. So Jim B had a lot to do in the second half. They obviously needed to score four goals without Barcelona scoring just to level it which is a very difficult thing to do and the second half didn't have as many goals obviously first half having six goals this half not having as many it had four oh no sorry it had three goals which is still quite a bit but six to three like yeah it's a massive difference but it was jim b who caused who almost got back into the game completely 28th minute Juan P scoring, making it five goals to two, and just 30 seconds later, they make it 5 3. With 10 minutes to go, they had loads of opportunities to come back into this game. Brilliant chance just to even just to level it. They had so many opportunities, they could have done it. 29th minute, Franklin scoring that goal to bring them back in to potentially call an upset, get a draw. But that wasn't to be the case. Just two minutes later, Ferreo would complete his brace, killing the game pretty much. And the 31st minute, six goals to three. And that was it. Toward the end of the game, Barcelona had opportunities, but nothing could come from it. Relatively even game. Uh, especially that second half. But the first half is how the game was finished. Five goals to one at half time. Pretty much sealed the deal. What I'm trying to bring up if there's any extra stats, does it really look like it? But anyway, if you like, subscribe for more Barcelona Foots. Well, actually, there really won't be a lot of them, but hey. Yeah.